Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I'm Mark, this is the Running Mark with Mark channel. And yeah, welcome. I'm sure all of, most of you who are watching this know me already and thanks a lot, I really do appreciate it. Uh, for all of us new people, welcome to the channel and all the people who are watching it for the first time, please do like and subscribe. More so subscribe for lots of content. Go back, I've got about 200 videos full of reviews, full of adventures, full of all sorts of different things. But today is, as you probably clicked on the title, for the review of the Pro Skin Set. Oh, damn, what was it called? Don't stay on it. Skin Pro 15 Set. I knew I was going to get that wrong. Uh, I never remember the name of these technical things that they get, you know, Advanced Skin Pro 2 Set 15. Anyway, the 15 relates to the size of the capacity which is apparently 15 litres, but it does actually hold 20 litres, they say. So it's a trail running backpack, uh, but uh, I mean, it's very, very versatile. So it's got like basically, it's a one size fits all. There's no small, medium, large, or you know, like all the other trail running backpacks. And it sits really nicely against the body. Now I've been using it for a bit, uh, for a while now and I really like it. It's a super nice backpack. It's got a pretty like, good system for locking it down and um, it's just a really awesome backpack. Now I wouldn't use this for all my trail runs to be honest. Uh, this one I would use more as kind of like an adventure sort of backpack and I'll go into the reasons why. So first of all you know it's got this lockdown system on the front which does work pretty well it's pretty rigid and everything. Um, they do, as I said, it's one size fits all, but it does have like these systems here where you can pull it and it makes it a little bit tighter around here and then you can loosen it with that, pressing that as well and it lets it more loose. So it does have a sizing system which does also work quite well, both sides as you can see here as well. Now, what I really do love about this is the storability on having it around here, like on quite a lot of the other Solomon packs and most trail running packs, is here. So they've got like all this storage here. Uh, you can fit water bottles into these, but it does come with a 1.5 litre bladder already included into it. Um, it's not actually in at the moment because I just used it today but I'll grab it in a second and show to you if you wish. Um, what you have here, so I tend to use these for food or keys or whatever, or like your rubbish in one side. Then you've got these pockets here, which go pretty deep, which also I've been putting my gels, my blocks, my cliff bars, and it's the same on the other side as well. On this side, you have like a, big rabbit pocket almost as full, like here, and there's maybe, see my fingers? Yeah, they're coming through here, so you've got like, you can put your jacket in there, your waterproof trousers, all sorts of really nice big space. And that's where the bladder pipe also has a very little hole and can come up through here. I've probably got a photo from a run today, I might put it in, hopefully. And then on the other side, it's got the same, but on this side, we've got the zip pocket there, and that goes round through to the back as well. So you want to put some stuff in there a bit more secure, you can put it in and it goes really pretty much all the way around to the back. So that's really cool and awesome to have that there. So those are the front pockets, plenty of them. And what this is one of the reasons why I like this because I like wearing a backpack. So if I'm going on an adventure up a mountain, I can quickly access all this food and drink and water without having to take my backpack off and all this. So this is gonna be my, as I said, adventure and outdoors backpack. Then, uh, quite simply, you've got these two um, on the sides, elastic bands. So if you wanted, you could put your walking poles sitting in there. But the other great thing is, here, right underneath it, it's got this cinch system with the drawstrings here, elasticated drawstrings. Now, so under there you could put hiking poles, you could put a small tent, you, well, I don't know, I don't actually have a tent, but like a hammock or a sleeping mat or, you know, anything like that right underneath it. So I'm, I'm investing in a bivy bag and I shall uh, put that in here and then here maybe like a mat or something. 
and I'm planning on going some, doing some like adventures where you run out somewhere, camp one night and run back. Because um, this backpack's kind of almost inspired me in a way to do this. Right, and so here, obviously, as you can see, it's got a pretty big, you know, it's like a backpack, well, <laughs> stating the obvious, but it's got like a really big space here, and, um, and like that's one pocket here, which you can use for your mobile phone and your credit cards or whatever, and those sort of things, or anything you want to keep separate from that. So yeah, it's a really, really awesome ba bag. Now, as I said, this is really a great adventure bag. I wouldn't really use it for going on a 60 kilometer trail run or anything like that because it's just too much space for what you need to carry. Well, there you go, as I said, depending if it's an adventure and you're just going out to do a thing, but if you're like racing or something, or going to do an event, I would say it's no. Um, uh, the bladder goes in there, by the way. Um, but if you were using this uh, every day, cycling, hiking, going on a long bike ride or something, this is perfect as well. Um, the other thing I would say, the other drawback, today I went trail running and I put like some watermelon and apple, not the whole watermelon, but some quite heavy stuff. And I did find that it kind of sagged at the bottom because it's got so much space and it doesn't fit tight to the body, it sagged at the bottom and would almost be like, I don't know, it wasn't totally but like overhanging a little bit. So if you put like really heavy stuff in like, I mean I, it's not really the best things to be carrying like watermelon and apple and plus it was empty so it would sit down at the bottom but if you had other stuff in there you'd arrange it better. So as I'm saying, not for like simple small heavy stuff and doing a small trail run but uh, I really love this backpack, it's got like, uh, as you may be able to see, like really breathable on there and so many, I forgot to mention also, so many of these kind of drawstrings that you can tighten it so you know it fits better to the body. To be honest that's a mistake I did actually when I'm talking about this watermelon, I just sold my solution. I saw my, I, I brought a solution to it by, I should have really tightened these up so it would have lifted it up. So there you go, I don't think it has too many problems. This is a great, really great backpack and I really recommend it for those, you know, like days out or even if you just put a couple of stuff in your running and then you go to the supermarket on your way back and you buy some wraps and beans like I do, then it's perfect. Really good backpack, I'd really recommend it. Um, I think it's a, a solid trail running backpack, but it's all about how you want to use it. But the, what I would say is that it will inspire you almost to go out and have more adventures. So that was my take on the uh, Skin, wait what was it, <laughs> yeah Skin Pro 15 set, I got the um, thing open on the website. But thank you very much for watching, hope you've enjoyed it. Got any questions, leave them down in the comment section down below and I'll get back to them without any worries. And I uh, really do appreciate taking the time to watch this and I hope it's been of use and value to you. Thank you very much. Have a lovely evening, morning, day, weekend, start of the week, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Peace.